funny story how we came to be here because you know this is like a more, mostly the Celtic side of the history and, and, and uh, of, the, of the building of the canal because there was a lot of Irish workers that worked there but uh, uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that who are the guides that were taking the prospectors out these were Aboriginal folks from the area here there was a ceremony where they were going to honor all the Irish workers and uh, a local hero here who uh, lobbied endlessly to get the Celtic cross down by, uh, to honor all these workers, he said, hey, what about all the Aboriginal folks? After all, it was these guys that were taking the prospectors. They don't have any real representation here. And uh, he invited us to go and play that ceremony. It was at St. Bridget's uh, Center for the Performing Arts. And we went there and the mayor was there and all these ambassadors and uh, all these fantastic Irish musicians. And, and then us singing traditional Aboriginal songs, which is kind of funny. Didn't know how to handle that, but uh, it was really well received. And uh, the person who was the MC there was the executive director for uh, the Bytown Museum here. And uh, she came up to us and said, "We want you to be part of our programming for uh, for the museum." And I thought that was really ultra cool. So uh, it's really awesome being here and being being the first Aboriginal artists to really kind of be featured in the Bytown Museum. It's kind of a big deal. ourselves. Um, this is an Aboriginal hand drum made by my husband David. Um, this is, the top part is made from rawhide and he makes all the frames himself. He, he does all the, the work um, that goes into making them. He makes um, rattles as well. I make more craft type items. Like I make my regalia, uh, more, more clothing, beadwork, uh, bags, type things like that. This is made from deer skin, and it's all handmade. The way I made the um, the fringe is I used scraps, and I did a, something called a spiral cut, and then I attached them to my shawl. Oh. How do you feel about playing the Bytown Museum? I feel great. There's lots of tourists that come here from other places in the world and I don't think they really know anything about Aboriginal people here in Canada. I like to educate people um, about Aboriginal culture. Not everybody gets a chance to experience or, or um, see what Aboriginal culture is all about. I feel really lucky to be here. Um, I really enjoy teaching uh, non-Aboriginal people who Aboriginal people are.